Gardner Sydney back in the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. School Garden. It is great to be back. It's a beautiful day. We've put up our hoop houses lately. I've planted some seeds, so there's a lot going on. Before we do anything today, I want to show you your rotting logs and see how they're doing. So let's check them out. So these are your rotting logs. Do they look any different than when we last saw them together? Let me get a little closer. Look at the surface. It's rough. It feels pretty dry. Let's look underneath our logs. And I don't see anything underneath the log. Oh wait, I do. What's that? Do you all see that little thing on our log? It looks like it's moving sometimes. Let's get a little closer. What is that? Time for log number two. Do you see anything under our rotting log? I see one thing. What is that? And then I see even some little plants sprouting up. So that is how our logs are doing. They are still in our garden. Maybe they've changed a little bit. Today we got a closer look at their texture, what they feel like, and what the surface of the log is like. But today I actually wanted to talk to you about what I do. You know me as Gardener Sydney. And I am a gardener, I take care of this garden and many others, but I'm also a naturalist. So what does it mean to be a naturalist? To be a naturalist means that you study nature. Nature includes everything from these plants we have here in the garden, to the trees in our neighborhood, even all the way to the pigeons that call our garden home. So now that you know that I'm a naturalist, you're probably wondering how I study nature. Do you have any ideas on how I study nature? And are there any ways that you study nature? Let me show you some of the ways that I study. I study nature by observing. For example, let's look at this tomato plant. This tomato plant is not doing super well. Can you see why I'm saying that? It's got a lot of dry leaves that are kind of crunchy. Some even browner ones up here. And it doesn't have a lot of tomatoes on it. It has some right here, but they're not really ripening anymore. So I'm looking at this tomato plant and I'm thinking about its leaves, its tomatoes, maybe the soil it's growing in, and I'm observing how it is right now, how it's doing. The second part of being a naturalist is asking questions. So I observed the tomato plant and saw that I don't think it's doing that well, but now I have to ask a question to figure out why. So why are my tomato leaves dry? And then I would go and I would think through and try to come up with an answer. But that's not just something that naturalists do. That's something that all scientists do. Think about marine biologists who study sharks, dolphins, and everything in the sea or chemists who study chemicals and reactions. All scientists ask questions, but in particular, I ask questions about nature. So that was a little bit about me and the science I do. What kind of science do you wanna do? What interests you? This year, we are all rotting log scientists. We are asking questions about these logs observing them and trying to find answers. So I'm excited to be rotting log scientists with all of you. I'll see you soon. Bye.